<laughs> okay, all right, okay. Yeah, I messed up. In my last video, I benchmarked an i7-3770, and I used a GeForce 1030 as the GPU. I guess I'm just so used to benchmarking older stuff that I never even thought about it. Still, I should have realized that after seeing the final scores, and also that GPU is at 100% usage all the time, it's my fault. It's definitely one of those times where you look back and go, you know, what was I thinking? Anyways, the best card I currently own uh, is a GTX 1650. Yeah, I know it's not great, but for these tests, it's fine. And it doesn't sit at 100% like, you know, the 1030 does, for at least for these tests. Um, also, the results are kind of interesting, so uh, let's get into it. So first up, GTA San Andreas. Uh, just like the Penny 4, the non-hyper-threaded run actually scored higher, but not by much. As usual, we'll take a look at the chart later, but the Penny 4 averaged about 1 FPS higher non-hyper-threaded. This i7 averaged about a half an FPS higher uh, with hyper-threading and disabled. Now that's close enough to say they performed the same, but it, I did test it a couple times and it always came out to be around the same score, so it seems to not like virtual threads. Next is GTA 4. Um, as usual, here are the settings. And yes, I left these runs at 1080 since the GPU wasn't pegged. Both felt about the same. I really couldn't tell a difference. And here you can see why. The in-game benchmark averaged about the same FPS across both runs, uh, with the GPU's reported usage staying around 30 to 40 percent. GTA 5, again, while playing, nothing stood out between the two. However, going back and looking, the disabled run always seemed to have a higher frame rate. Uh, I'll let a couple of the benchmark scenes play, and you can see, you know, how they go. I included Unreal Tournament 3, which I forgot to do last time. Yes, it's an older game, but it's interesting to see how they handle. They both seem to run about the same, but the enabled run seems to always have a slightly higher frame rate. Portal 2, like before, had similar frame rates between the two, but this time it was done without the GPU being absolutely pegged. Yes, it bounces between 70 and 80%, but it's not pegged, so there's a bit of headroom. Now, with Heaven and Superposition, I know they're GPU benchmarks, but I run them more or less just to see how the GPUs or the scores are affected by each CPU. Um, here I even ran it at 720 and the GPU was pegged throughout, as you'd expect with a GPU benchmark. But once again, like last time, the enabled run scored lower. Superposition is quite a bit newer, and it was developed with more cores, you know, more than a couple cores in mind. As you can see, each performed about the same, but the enabled run scored slightly higher. So here's the chart from the last video using the 1030 GPU. And here's the new chart using the 1650. Yes, many of the, the final scores are, are even, like before, but this time the GPU isn't pegged. It's about time I pick up a newer GPU, so maybe I'll come back to this a little bit later. Just wanted to post an update since many of you called out the flaw in the last video so quick. Uh, mostly, you know, on here what I do is is older, you know, equipment, but we wanted to see how... Uh, 
you know, a newer CPU would, would uh, react compared to the Pentium 4. So here it is.